Hi Internet, Nia here with another episode of Last Night the Geeks and Gamers. Uh, so, I generally focus on gaming in my vlog, however today's vlog is going to be about geeky things such as uh, Android phones and Apple phones. Um, so as you recently know, Apple just released its iPhone 4S with its personal assistant Siri inside of it. And a lot of people are either a wondering if Android has anything similar to offer in its huge dossier of um, Android applications, and B, wondering is Siri like something all that great? And wouldn't Android have it before? And then you also have like the C, the naysayers on both sides who say Siri is better or this and this application is better. So what I did, um, I'm going to split this up into a few different blogs. I found a couple applications on the Android market that were already built into the um, phones that are running Google systems that operate somewhat similar to Siri. And I thought I would tell you guys about them and let you guys know some of their limitations and stuff like that. So the first one would be the uh, application, the Google application that's pre-built in to all Android-based phones, and that is the voice action slash voice search function that comes uh, next to your handy-dandy Google bar. Whoops, and that it is. Do you notice the little microphone over there? Whoa, is it going to show up? There you go. You can kind of see the microphone. Um, that does a variety of things that a lot of people actually don't know about, which is kind of surprising. If you ever go and you click voice search on your phone, and then you click help, it'll take you to what voice actions can actually do. And it lets you know what you can do to voice actions. So you can send text, you can listen to music, you can navigate to places, you can call people, call businesses you've never even known, you can send emails, you can set alarms, you can get maps of, you can go to certain websites, you can call people you know, you can make notes to yourself, you can get directions, and you can do funky little web searches. Obviously this is exactly like Siri because Siri has a personality and she talks back to you. However, in terms of functionality, if you're just looking for something that's going to do what it says it's going to do, then voice actions is pretty cool. Um, a lot of people say, like, oh, voice actions doesn't work that well because they can't, like, do a conversational tone of voice. However, um, Google's pretty smart. They have put in some conversational abilities. So, for example, if I hit the little button and say, wake me up at 4 a.m., the phone will set my alarm for 4 a.m. with the label wake up. I can also do set note. Remind me to call my mom later. Okay, if that doesn't work, that was kind of my fault because I kind of mumbled. But it did get pretty close. Um, it said sending email. So let's see. Note to self. Call mom later. I want to see if I'll send a note. Set note. Ooh, where'd it go? Set note. Hello. Uh, it's on there. Note to self. Um, I can also get it to send text messages. Send text to mom. I love you. And it's going to send text to my mom. See? So it's kind of cool. I can also get it to call businesses that I've never called before. Um, call Firestone in Lakewood, Colorado. Firestone Complete Auto Care. Colfax Avenue, Lakewood, Colorado. I'm going to end that call before it goes through. So yeah, Google Voice Actions can actually do a lot to make your life simple, easy, send text messages, call businesses you've never called before, and um, the obvious one that most people actually use it for. How much wood can a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Looking up answers. So, you know, Android fans, there's your first based application. If you're just looking for the functionality that Siri offers, you you already have it in your phone. It's Google Voice Actions, and they continuously change it. Um, obviously, it only works with certain dialects of English, um, British accents. I think have just barely been 
added to what it can understand, and sometimes it does mess up. However, uh, if you look up reviews of Siri, sometimes Siri messes up as well. So, that's all for the first application. Uh, go and update your, your voice search function if you haven't. Uh, there have been plenty of updates to it lately. Um, next, I will continue this uh, talking about the Speak to It Assistant. This is Mia. Thanks for tuning in to part one of this three-part series, and I'm out.